lesson on Ramble On by Led Zeppelin. So the first rhythm we're gonna have is. So it's basically E and D. So you could have this whole, you could be doing the big E string and the seven, nine, nine, nine. Or you could kind of mute that A string and have the nines go back to these sevens and not really bother with that seventh fret of the A string. But you can hit that big bass note E with both of those. So when we get here, we're doing part of an A chord. So we have the open A, and then we have seven, six, five, and open. And we're gonna hammer immediately into the seventh fret of the G string with this pinky. Kind of strum a little bit and then pull off at the end. Back to the other part. I've also seen some tabs that had this as the chord where it's like open and then nine, seven, nine, open, open. That's that third chord, kind of has a nice ring to it. That could really be the way to. I kind of just kind of cheat and go. about adding that other one if you like that too. So you kind of have a bass note and then you hammer right away on that A. And see how that E can kind of hit before the chords do? It can be like right with them or it can be kind of like a boom, da da da. So you can hit kind of with it, or you can hit kind of the bass note before that. Okay, so that is the rhythm that starts out the song. That's the intro. That goes four times, and then he sings over that with the verse eight times. And then we've got this little bend riff. So you can either do this bend riff here with the seven and five on the second string. And you, pull, you go up and down and you pull off. Then you go to the sixth fret of the G string. Or you could do that riff here up on the 11th fret of the G string with 11s and 9s. So I'm going to do it here and then I'm going to come down to these pull offs. 7 to 6 on the G string, 11 to 9 on the D string, 7 to 6 on the D string. And if you wanted to do the bend in the other place the second time. That's that little part right there, it goes twice. So then we have a different rhythm for the chorus. So that's gonna be more of a, um, a little bit different of a rhythm there. Has some percussive kind of attack kind of things there. Now at this point you've got open on the A and then you got five open, three open. Sliding up to the seven and five here. we got so far. So let's try to play that nice and slow. Three, four. Let's look at the next riff. So let's do that nice slow. Three, four. Okay, then our chorus rhythm.
Okay, then we're going to have a new thing. We're going to have a... So that's 10th fret of the E string. We're going to go 10, and then pull off, and then pick the 10 again. We're going to do that three times in a row. Go to the 12, and then... So that's the main thing going on there. So we got... Hold that one. So that's that part. So three times like that, and then you hold that a little bit before that next rhythm comes in. But then there's a lower harmony on that 12th fret of the B string, the B note. So you hold that 12, and then you go 12 and 10. When you go to a higher note, it's the ninth fret of the E string. Do that three times. And then you're back to the rhythm. The chorus rhythm. And of course, somewhere in there it goes back into verses and stuff. And so you'll have to listen to the song to get the full arrangement just in the right order and everything. But then there is this other part here. And then a verse starts right there. So that is 9 and 7 pull off, and then 10 and 7, and then 9. Do that twice, so two times through. And then we got a short one, it just does those three notes. So we got. And then we'll start it over. But we're going to have a different ending. So that's 10 and 7 on the second string. And then it starts over. And it ends with the ninth fret that time to start that E chord again. So we got. Now that has a higher harmony. Okay, so we got 12, 10, and 9 down here, to 12 and 10, two times, and then just the first three notes, just like the other one, because it's matching it, you know, it's a harmony. And then it starts again, but it has a different ending. And that's 9 on the little E string with the 12 and the B string. on that 12 on the higher one to starting on the 12 Okay, so let's look at all the parts again. Here's the first part. And here is that other way. Do that one more time. That's that nine, seven, nine. 
And then we have the rhythm of the chorus. this thing and that goes three times and its harmony was this 12 so definitely try those with the record those are really fun and they're not that that uh you know fast moving or anything kind of pretty simple so those are fun to play along with the record and this is the real key of the record this key of e So give those little melodies a try, and then go play that second one and see how cool it sounds when you're hitting that harmony thing. Right, so those parts go three times each. Then we have that other part. So nine and seven, ten and seven, down to nine. And I use those fingers because those are like the stronger fingers for me, the easier fingers to work out. Maybe down here it would be a little different. I would switch over to that, you know. But up here where they're kind of closer, you can kind of pick and choose, use the fingers that you like to use more. The higher harmony of that was... <laughs> 